that have been destroyed. All right. Yes, Mayor and I come to the conclusion in preparation to be used by God mm -hmm. that he went through four stages in 40 days. Yes. Number one, he wept. The scripture tells us, even of the Old Testament, weep ye daughters of Zion uh -huh. yeah. concerning the conditions that exist in Zion. Yes, sir. Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem yes. and told them, I oft would have gathered thee unto my wings as a hen gathers her little ones, Preacher. but yet you would not come. Yes. Right. my wept because he understood that Saul filled his heart, but yet my heard the words that would be repeated later on, understand, weep not, do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord yes, will be your strength. Yes. No one can appreciate joy unless they have wept. No one can appreciate healed unless they've been sick. Yes, sir. No one can appreciate door being open unless doors or door has been shut. In your face, no one can appreciate the mountain top unless they go through the valley. But yet and still, we must understand he wept over the conditions that exist because he was sentimental and he was compassionate and he understood that this would turn the heart. Of God. Thank you, Jesus. Help him to be able to go further and to do the work of the Lord. Yes. Second thing, he mourned. Blessed are they which mourn, for they shall be comforted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As he was mourning, the scripture says that he lamented, uh -huh. he weeped, he grieved yes. over the sin that they had committed. Uh -huh. yes, sir. In those 40 days, he confessed, even when people did not confess, he says, Lord, our fathers have sinned. Uh -huh. I pray that you will forgive them of their sin, yes, that sir. this nation might be cleared, uh -huh. that we might go forward. Uh -huh. And I like that because even Job, when he understood uh -huh. that the children were out at his elder brother's house, uh -huh. son's house rather, that when he thought they would do something wrong, right. that he began to mourn and offer sacrifices yes. in their stead right. because he understood they wouldn't do it, but he had the opportunity to go before the Lord yes. for them. Yes. It's good to be an intercessor. Yes. People yes. in your house don't want to confess. Yes. You want to confess for them. Yes. People in the church that don't want to confess and get right. You ought to pray, Lord, please spare the heart, spare the mind, that they might turn from their wicked ways before, like the old saints would say, before it's everlasting, yes, too late. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Also, the third thing this man did, was he fasted. For the scripture says in the Old Testament that fasting undoes things. Yes. So when people are connected with something that they just can't get connect, disconnected from, they go through a state of consecration, fasting, and the scripture says some things come through prayer and fasting, fasting and prayer, some things take place, and so fasting undoes things. Fasting causes a person to come to a condition where they understand condition, contrition in their heart, and then they come to the point of understanding, I am in a state of helplessness, and I know a God who can yes, help me, yes. and he can do that right early. Yes. This man also went through praying for 40 days, amen, as he was going through the process of weeping, mourning, fasting, and praying, he began to come to the conclusion that I know I can touch my God. Amen. Even by words that cannot be uttered, uh -huh. and even by words that I do utter, amen, that God will come to my rescue. Uh, right. This man made preparation, spent so much time in preparation, reason being he wanted to be suitable, fit, uh -huh. to 
to be available to be used by God. This man went through 40 days of doing such things that I have named because he wanted to be sensitive to the will of God and to be sensitive to the mind of God. We 